In July 2005, Museum Victoria led an expedition to the Kimberley, north of Fitzroy Crossing, where we found some remarkable 380 million year old fossil fish preserved in limestone nodules, like this one. Now the thing about this site at Gogo Station is that the bone is inside the rock, but when we dissolve the rock, we get perfect three-dimensional skeletons out, such as the bones here in this container. When we found this particular fossil, we didn't really know what it was or what the significance of it would really be until we brought it back to the lab here at Museum Victoria and then eventually started to prepare it out of the rock. After three months of preparation using acetic acid, the bones came out in perfect three-dimensional form, like these beautiful lower and upper jaws here, still articulated. But it wasn't until right at the end of the preparation that we started to prepare the tail and inside the tail we found something truly remarkable. Because here inside the adult mother fish were the bones of an unborn embryo and still attached to it was a mineralized umbilical cord, truly one of the most remarkable fossils found in the history of paleontology. So how do we prepare these fossil bones out of this limestone rock? Once we bring them back to the lab here at Museum Victoria, we immerse them in 10% acetic acid, the same chemical that's in vinegar, which might be on your fish and chips. These bits of bone then slowly poke out of the rock as the carbonate dissolves around them. After several months of this acid preparation, we get the bones out in perfect three-dimensional form. Then in order to study these bones, we use a number of techniques. We can look at them under the microscope and, and draw them and photograph them. And we can also take them to the Australian National University where we use one of the finest CT scanners ever built. This amazing machine can cut slices through the rock at one thousandth of a millimetre intervals and build us up a picture of parts of the fossil that are still in the rock that we can't see with our eyes. This gives us a perfect three-dimensional form of the fossil. This not only gives us evidence of the oldest kind of live birth in any vertebrate, but also the fact that these creatures reproduced using internal fertilisation, basically the origins of vertebrate sex back 380 million years ago. All of these significant discoveries that we've made through our research here at Museum Victoria have been put on display. We invite members of the public to come in and have a look at one of the truly most remarkable fossils ever found, a 380 million year old placoderm mother with its baby still inside, here at Melbourne Museum in the foyer for the next month or so.